Hey guys. Um, so initially, you know, I I was gonna, you know, release a sketch, you know, a rant um, video, you know, but I thought it would be quite inappropriate since you know a horrible incident occurred um, yesterday um, at half ten, you know, where there was an explosion, a bombing, a suicide bombing, I believe, in in Manchester, and it caught me off guard, and uh, it, you know. My condolences go out to the families that lost, you know, their loved ones. Um, and I just thought I'd um, express myself. Um, just that, you know, it was quite unexpected the fact that there was a bombing, you know, um, in the MEN uh, arena. Um, but it's a fact. The reason why it it caught me off guard and it's really startled me. The reason why I'm making this video is I'm quite I'm still quite shook up by the fact that. It, it's happened right there, which is, you know, somewhere where I go by all the time, you know, like, I've been working in Manchester ever since I was 17, you know, I've, nearly all my jobs I've had has been in Manchester, apart from this current job I've got at the moment, and, you know, my bus route goes past Victoria train station, where, you know, where it's been closed off right now, and it, it just, um, I don't know, I'm kind of left kind of speechless, I feel, I feel quite, uh, quite startled and quite scared, and I feel really frightened. And um, my heart goes out to all the people that lost their family and friends. You know, in this in, in this um, Manchester bombing, the news have reported that um, it was a 22 year old guy that um, was called um, Salman Abedi, and you know it's reported to be like a um, suicide bombing, and this guy is like a crazy um, crazy extremist. When I saw the news, I was just I was really um, angry. The fact that this would happen because this happened right you know right right pretty much near my hometown so i live in burnley right and where the bombing took place is like just like an hour's drive you know away away from away from you know my house and it's done by a guy who you know has done the bombing claiming it's for it's for it's for islam you know so it's for um you know it's for a religious purpose and i find that disgusting i find that horrible the fact that he's doing it a week before ramzan which is like a um, a, a holy month, you know, for us Muslims, and he's. It's the fact that he's done it. In a location where it's just all kids, it was all family members. It was like a family day out, you know. It was Ariana Grande's um concert, and he did it there, you know, and uh, it's just really, kind of got to me, you know, like I tr I love Manchester, you know, I love Manchester to bits. It's it's our city, and I I had my first ever job was in Manchester. Uh, you know, it's only a week ago I was just in, in, in I was just in money. You know, I was working my previous job just there, but I couldn't afford the bus route. Uh, I couldn't afford the you know travel expenses anymore, so I thought I'd get a job in Burnley. What scares me is the fact that I, you know, my bus route goes along that area. And um, sorry if this sorry if this video is really just me rambling. I just sort of had to let it out. It was such a horrible, you know, disgusting incident incident that occurred, and. And um, the thing that I did appreciate on the news was the fact that, you know, um, the chief of police for um, Manchester did say, you know, if there's any prejudice, um, hate crime against certain people, so um, just they won't tolerate it. And I know when certain incidents like this take place, it does, you know, stuff like this happens where uh, people target a certain group thinking it's all their fault just for the heinous crimes of one person, you know one like one mentally ill person one person who's whose mindset is completely completely out there completely off you know and people are scared so they point their fingers and blame you know so that was one of the reasons why i was scared the fact that this bombing took place and this 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 guy you know did it in the name of islam this you know um did it in the name of religion and i was just scared for guys that look like me you know if they would it's that thing where, um, you know, when Donald Trump got uh, voted as president, there was a um, anti-Donald Trump protest in Manchester, and I didn't tell you guys this. I, I, I said in Snapchat, but um, there's like a protest going on. And I was coming on my way back from work, and I was walking towards my bus stop, and then I got stopped and attacked by a drunk um, middle-aged man, you know, who was just racist towards me. But thankfully, there's a lot of people. I just stopped it. So hate crime like this does exist, and that's the thing that really scared me: the fact that th this might occur. But Despite me being scared for that, despite me being scared for other 
guys that look like me that this may happen to you. I know that Manchester is a very, very strong community. You know, it's a very diverse place. It's full of different people from all kinds of cultures. And they're very proud of that. So even though this tragedy occurred, I know that Manchester is very strong and it will it will it will get through this, you know. The story is about these taxi drivers, taxi drivers giving free rides to all the victims, you know, children that have been separated from their parents and giving free rides. And I find that really beautiful and the fact that they they said it was their duty to help to give these free rides and there's these um there's these hotels, you know, letting these people stay because, you know, they've they haven't got enough money or they haven't um you know, they just they've got nowhere to stay. So I know that Manchester will get through this and I'm just very proud. Even though I wasn't born in Manchester, I'm just from Manchester is my city, you know. I'm from Berlin, but Manchester is my city and I'm very proud to be a part of Manchester. Um and the fact that I know I know through this experience, you know, the community will ri the community will rise and we will we will show the attackers that we are strong. You know, we'll get through this. Again, I am really sorry if there has been any um, anyone else? I know some of my friends that were in the Ariana Grande concert, and thankfully they have not been hurt themselves. You know, they, they, uh, they were okay. They posted on Facebook. Um, but it was a really, um, it, it, it really did, it did really startle me and shake me. Um, just the fact that, um, it's so close to home. You know, normally you hear stories about this down in in America or down south in London, but this was right in uh, Manchester. You know, so it, it, I just found it really scary. You know. I just don't understand, you know, um, but um, I, I hope, I hope everyone that's watching this video is doing well. You guys will get through this. I know I'm just repeat myself, but honestly, guys, it's it's one of those things. It, it does it does make you realize a lot of things. You know, I was supposed to be in Manchester just um on the day when that took place, but I was really tired just from work, so I didn't I, I couldn't be bothered going. Um, and so just today, I thought, you know what, it's my brother's birthday, so he won. Um, I just thought I'd see him. And my nephew and my niece, um, because I don't see I don't see them enough, so it yeah it's just it just made me appreciate a lot of things in my life already, um, but um yeah sorry sorry this video is not like a normal standard video that I uh that I normally do um yeah sorry I'm just gonna stop talking now it's, it's uh it's, it's, I just I just been talking quite a lot okay um yeah hope you guys just stay strong stay strong um help out anyone that you can do. Um, share the picture. Share the pictures of the of the kids or the people that have been missing. Um, retweet, retweet them, everything like that. I just so everyone will see them. Um, but um, yeah. Okay. Bye.